This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. So now we're coming out here to teach others about robotics. Teachers who built underwater drones at a local STEM institute officially put those robots to use today. Uh, the program makes science and engineering fun for teachers and students as School Watch tops Channel 2 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Burton. Thanks for joining us tonight. Back in September, we told you about some local teachers who were learning how to build and operate underwater robots. Well, today, those machines were put to use for the first time. Ryan Canada was at Pyramid Lake today. He joins us now from the newsroom. So, Ryan, this has been a long time coming. Yeah, that's right, Jen. These teachers have been learning about and building these drones for months, since August, actually. And today was kind of like the final exam, where the finished product was taken out into the field and used for real-world applications. These are the underwater remote-operated vehicles, also known as ROVs for short. And after months of welding and wiring these robots into a functional device, today they were finally put to use and placed into Pyramid Lake. Situations like this are really the most beautiful places you can go to and, and try out the skills that you learn in the classroom. The six robots were first wired to a tether as a way to retrieve the device in the water. They're then attached to a computer program to not only drive the drone, but also to capture images. Press forward. Finally, the robots are set free into the lake where the real trial and error begins. Seeing, make sure everything works, making sure that nothing floods when you go underwater, making sure that you can pilot your vehicle and understand what it's reporting back. The teachers who built the drones say they invested a lot of time and learned a lot from the program making today's hands-on experience that much more worth all of the hard work. It's just wonderful that we have this opportunity and that we're able to give this to our, our kids. And that's what the teachers are looking forward to the most, is taking the knowledge they've learned and applying it into the classroom to teach more students about STEM education later down the road. We get kids engaged post high school um, in the in the scientific community. My vision is that all the students will be able to develop skills where they will be able to have high paying careers when they get older. And the drone equipment will soon be available for these teachers to check out from schools to use for their students. Covering School Watch live in the newsroom, Ryan Canaday, Channel 2 News.